Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. My name is Joseph and today I'm taking over Nuhu Ayuba's channel, okay? What do you think? Yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, yeah, <laughs> today I'm taking over and I'm going to ask uh, a friend of mine who just came to Brazil. He's actually from Ghana. Some few questions about a typical food we have in Ghana, okay? So stay tuned, subscribe and then like the channel we just finished enjoying that's why we're sweating you know yeah it was really hot yeah exactly but i really loved it you know now nigeria with the chop bank <laughs> nigeria with the chop bank for the first time maybe you see you go love them or not <laughs> we have something similar like Apple. okay so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so that you don't lose any of the content that new post here okay and then hit the like button so i'll be right back yeah so today we have here with us what's your name my name is raymond from ghana raymond so you're going to talk to us a little bit about banku sure. first of all what is banku okay so banku is a Ghanaian traditional dish and how do you make banku to make banku you need um certain ingredients here are the ingredients you need um two cups of fermented condo a cup of fermented cassava dough three cups of water and salt okay okay, okay i'm gonna ask that's for how many people again uh, that's for how many people okay for almost three to four people depending on how hungry they are how is banku made okay so uh most of you might not be familiar with um the corn dough preparation and the cassava dough so let me throw more light on the condo and the cassava dough. So uh, before you can get your condo, a fermented condo, you need your corn from maize. So you make sure the corn dries in the sun for at least two to three days, depending on the temperature of your location. After the corn is dry, you soak it in water for at least three days, two to three days. And then after it's being soaked inside the water, you drain the water from it and take it to the corn mill. There, you are going to mill the maize into the corn dough. After milling your corn into the corn dough, you put it in an empty container, you press it to the fullest and cover it with the lead of the container or anything to make sure that air doesn't get in or else it will decay. So, after getting that done, you've got in your corn dough. Then the cassava dough, it's being made from cassava. So you put a cassava tube, you take it to the um, cassava mill, you mold the cassava, you put it in a sack or anything that can let it drain the water from the cassava. In Ghana, what we do is that after milling the cassava, you put it in a sack, tie it and put stones on it to make sure that it presses it hard to lose the water from the cassava. Then for about two to three days, it get dry or it get hard. That is how you get your cassava dough. So in preparing the banco, you need these two major ingredients, which is the cassava dough and the corn dough. So steps in preparing the banco. You need your fermented corn dough and your fermented cassava dough. So in this case, it's going to be two is to one in the form of a ratio. But in Ghana, it depends. Most people want the cassava dough to be many than the corn dough. Your taste is in your hands. But in this case, I will prefer two of the corn dough to one of the cassava dough. So in the bowl, you add two of your fermented corn dough and one cup of your fermented cassava dough. And then you add in two cups of water to it. And then you begin to mix it with your hand. And to consistency, it becomes very smooth. You mix it very well so that you, you don't see, is it lambs? <laughs> yeah. Something like lambs in it. You mix it very well. So after that, you pour the mixed fermented corn dough and the cassava dough into a cooking pot. You put it on your fire. In Ghana, we use what we call coal pots. And then you use a bamboo stir and you stir it until you get very hardened. But then before that, you can add salt to it. In Ghana, most people prefer adding salt. Others to don't. The choice is still in your hands. After that, you can wait and pour a little water in it. 
and then cover it with the lead of the pots until it begins to get well cooked as the water boils into the hard cassava and condo mixed together. After that, you begin to stir it again, then you get your banku ready to eat. So you can eat it with something like shito, okra stew or soup, granite soup or pango soup with okra. And do you have shito around here to show us? Sure, I have shito. So, so show us, it. show us shito, please. Okay. So here is it, with a lot of oil in it for you not to what, get spoiled. What oil is this? So this um, fried oil. Okay. Yeah, from Ghana. Uh, is it uh, palm oil or the granite oil? No, this is not palm oil. This is, is not granite oil. I think it's the normal oil, it's right? The normal oil. Yeah. Okay. So you can use it with um. The sunflower oil, any oil you want to use it with, but okay. not with palm oil. Though I've not seen others use it with palm oil, though, but I... you can use it with any oil of your choice. Okay, is it always hot? No, it's not always hot. Depends on how you like it or you want it to be. Okay. 